Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back to an all new Project Pan update. So I'm gonna let you know how I'm doing on these items that I'm trying to use up in 2021. And this project is actually almost over. Today I've got my November update. Then I will do an update at the beginning of December and then the finale will be probably the last day of the year or like somewhere right around there. So it's crunch time. If you missed last month's Project Pan update, it was a very, very exciting one. So I'll leave that video linked down below. And today I'm gonna let you know how I have done since then. So in today's video, I will be bringing one new item into the project. So stay tuned until the end to hear what I'm gonna add into it. If you're new here, my name's Kelly. I upload four videos a week all about cruelty-free beauty. I love doing Project Pans, Shop My Stash. I love utilizing my makeup collection. So if you're into this type of content, be sure to subscribe. Also, if you're sitting here like, what the heck is a Project Pan? I do have a video that I always leave linked down below that will describe it. And let's go ahead and hop into it. Let's start off with an item that I added in last month. This is a powder from Too Faced. This is their loose setting powder. It's the Born This Way Ethereal, Ethereal Powder. I feel like I used this a pretty decent amount, but I have not seen any significant progress on it. I've been less into powder recently. I guess, let me rephrase that. I've been less into loose powder recently. I feel like I'm using less powder. I'm just kind of applying a little bit and some targeted areas, but I'm not as into fully powdering my entire face with a heavy setting powder like this. But I do feel like for filming, this is an item that I'm reaching for. Not as much for every day. And I've talked about that a bit before where makeup that's very flattering while filming is not always flattering in real life, but also makeup that's very flattering in real life and up close doesn't typically translate on camera. So I kind of adjust my makeup style based on the setting. So I do use this more for filming days. So I used it today. When I went to add the new tally onto it, I was like, do I even add a new tally? Because the placement did not seem that much lower. I was like, do I just kind of leave it where it's at? But I put the tally just a hair lower. We've gone down like a millimeter, which I mean, a good portion of this product is used up. I'm more than halfway there, but to finish this by the end of the project might be a large ask. That might be pushing it. In today's video, I'll evaluate kind of where we're at, like what I think I can do by the end of the project. If I can finish this, I mean, it's possible. It is possible, but it would take a lot of use. So we'll see. I think the we'll know by next month. Right now it's hard to say, it could happen, it could not happen, but by next month we'll know, like, is it possible or not? Speaking of is it possible or not, let's talk about this highlight that I thought I would have done by now. Oh my gosh, I thought that was a spider on my ceiling, but it's actually the screw from my door. Okay, panicked for a second, but this is from Ciate London. Here's the thing, when I look at it here, I'm like, I barely used it, but I'm thinking when I put the clips together, maybe it'll show a little more use than what I'm seeing here because there's hardly any highlighter left. I'm wearing it today. I went a little bit more bold with my highlight today. Again, love that for filming. I actually thought that this would have been done a month or two ago and every update I say like, this is the last month, it'll be done by next month. And then the next month comes around, I'm like, oh, never mind. And I don't know if it's just, okay, here's what I think it is. The, there's just an excess of product kind of built up along the ring. So if you were to look at it from the angle, I, I'm describing this kind of weird, but stick with me. If you were to see it from this angle, there's like a thicker amount of product on the ring. So before it was expanding very quickly because that surface area, well not surface area, but the depth was pretty thin. But as I'm getting to the edge of the pan, it's getting thicker. Did that make sense? That's my theory, I'm sticking to it. Next month, question mark. By the end of the project, 100%. I am 100% sure that this will be done by the end of the project. Will it be done by next month? I don't know, I hope so. I'm very optimistic, but I don't know. But when I do finish that, it will be the first powder highlight that I've ever fully used up, and that's gonna be very exciting. I also need to go back through and tally where I'm at for the year. I meant, or I did that in my finale last year and I told you guys how many items I used up in the project and that's a really fun part for me to go back and tally up the number because sometimes month to month we don't see a ton of progress so it's easy to overlook how successful these project pans are but then at the end of the year when I'm like okay this is how many items I hit pan on for my project this is how many I used up that's where it all comes together so I need to I need to do that for the finale coming up if you remember I swapped out my blush last month I was very briefly focusing on the blush from Essence. 
their Satin Touch blush or Satin Love blush. The name is Satin Love, the type is Satin Touch. But I decided I wanted to swap it out for this one from Too Faced. This is the Too Faced Love Flush Blush in I Will Always Love You. The old ones, the original formula, I've had this for years, like one of my older blushes. And the pan is getting kind of bigger. We just had a little baby pan in the beginning, but now it's kind of even like a wonky shape. Like I feel like that's progress because it's no longer just a little circular pan where we just like got a little speck of the pan. Like now it's getting bigger. It's kind of a weird shape. And again, when you look at the area around the pan, it's pretty thin. Up by the edges is probably still quite thick, but the area right near the pan, it's it's quite thin. I did not apply this today. Today I'm wearing my Milani blush that you just saw me put in my Shop My Stash. It's their Rose Powder Blush in Romantic Rose, if you're wondering. This, I will say, throwing it back into the project because I had it in before, took it out, put it back in like a year later. I did not remember how sparkly this was. Like, I do get some glitter flecks on my cheek. Not glitter flecks, but I get... Like sometimes it's really glowy. I'm like, oh wow, I forgot. Like this can be quite glowy, but I've been enjoying this. It's nice to put a peachy blush back into rotation. I feel like that's the tone I've been reaching for a bit more recently. So I've enjoyed having this back into the project. Will this be done by the end of the year? I'm not even gonna pretend, like there's no way, but hopefully I can make some good progress. My Milani bronzer, I mean, this could be done by the end of the year, but again, it would be quite the accomplishment to do that. So I'm getting close to side pan and I'm thinking that's gonna be my realistic goal. Like by the end of the year, can I finish this up? Maybe, but probably not. Especially with how much I use bronzer these days. It's not that much. I'm way more team blush. I don't use as much bronzer or highlight as I used to, so I don't pan those as fast as I used to be able to. I feel like these days I wear heavier blush, so I go through blush faster. So knowing that about myself, I don't wanna set unrealistic goals to use this up by the end of the year, but I think realistically, what I could do is hit side pan. So this area is getting really thin. The pan is definitely expanding the most in this region. So hitting side pan on this, I think would be pretty realistic, possibly to do by next month, but absolutely by the end of the year. All right, this primer, oh my goodness. So this is from Becca, which is not even a brand anymore. I mean, as of recently, but still. It's the backlight. It is their illuminating primer. <sighs> I didn't even add a new marking to this because I don't think that the difference is significant enough to justify a new marking. Like it would just blend in with last month's update. And I feel like I've used this a decent amount. I used it today, but I don't always apply this all over my face. I'm typically taking a small pump of this and strategically placing it kind of like on the cheeks. I'm not really applying it to like my forehead and the majority of my face. So I think that's a big part of it, but the cap is now chipping so much. I've mentioned this in a few updates now. It is like completely chipping off. So every time I reach for this and I take it out of my drawer and pick it up, I get little pieces of the cap on my hands and then they pick up on my brush and then they get on my face. So I don't love that, but I, I don't wanna take this out because I haven't noticed it going bad and I'm still enjoying it. So I'm like, slow and steady wins the race. We'll get there eventually. The cap is frustrating me, but it's not to the point that it's unusable that I'm like, oh my God, I need to take this out. You know what I'm saying? So I'll keep going. Sometimes I use this on my chest. Sometimes I use it. Uh, mixed in with foundation, so I'll keep going on this. I wanna get this done by the end of the year, but if I'm being realistic and kind of doing the math based on my previous tallies, it's not realistic for me to do that, but I'm, I'll always try. So before we hop into the new edition, out of all of those so far, the one that I feel the most confident about is the highlight, like this will be done by the end of the project and hopefully by next month, but I also think it's really realistic for me to hit pan on the bronzer like side pan before the end of the project. So my new addition, I wanted to add something back in because I needed like at least one more to focus on. I considered doing another foundation, but I feel like I'm at a place right now where I'm enjoying cycling through my foundations and I just finished up a foundation in the project last month. So I didn't feel like that made sense, but there is a concealer you might be able to guess it, but there is a concealer I've been trying to use up for a while and I thought, you know what, let's just put this in. There is not a lot left here and I wanna use it up so I might as well document it in the project. And this is the Too Faced, no, this is the 
Urban Decay Stay Naked Concealer. Now, concealer is always really hard for me to pan because it rarely settles where you can mark it. So I am just going to go based on like how much I can tell is in here. I've tried to mark before when I've panned like my two, I'm pretty sure I tried to mark when I panned the Too Faced concealer, but it's just so hard to get an accurate marking on them. And I'm kind of at a place where I'm scraping the sides anyway, so I think just having this in the project and trying to consistently use it for the next month hopefully will be enough to finish it up, but if not, definitely by the end of the year. And that will be nice to cycle one more concealer out to have used one up. So I'm gonna feel really great about that once I finish that off, but I'm happy to add that into the project. And I'm feeling pretty optimistic about what I can complete before this year is over. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe and I will go ahead and see you in my next one. Bye.